Our labor could be worth nothing, but because of how much richer the world is after AI, you have these billions of extra researchers, workers, etc. It could still be trivial to have individual humans have the equivalent of millions, even billions of dollars worth of wealth. In fact, it might literally be invaluable amounts of wealth in the following sense. So here's an interesting thought experiment. Imagine you have this choice. You can go back to the year 1500, but you know, of course, the year 1500 kind of sucks. You have no antibiotics, no TV, no running water. But here's how I'll make it up to you. I can give you any amount of money, but you can only use that amount of money in the year 1500. And you'll go back with these sacks of gold. How much money would I have to give you that you can use in the year 1500 to make you go back? And plausibly, the enough. answer is there's no amount of money you would rather have in the year 1500 mm -hmm. than just have a normal life today. We could be in a similar position with regards to the future where there's much better health, physical health, mental health, longevity. That's just like the thing we can contemplate now. But people in 1500 couldn't contemplate the kinds of quality of life advances we would have 500 years later, right? This could be our future for humans, even if if our labor isn't worth anything, but it does require us to have AIs that choose to participate or in some way incentivize to participate in some system which we have leverage over.